Can you guess where I am? Probably not because I'm in a bush, but anyway, Northumberland, yes. Heart Hope Valley, yes. Which means it's time for an adventure. Another overnight adventure. And I'm out on a solo one. Just finished work and I'm straight up a hill. Because that is what life is about these days. So we're going up there, housey crags, but we're not staying there, I don't think. We're going over at that one, Hedge Hope Hill, which at 715 metres is the second highest hill, mountain, mound of dirt, mound of earth, land bump, <sighs> cheevy at breast, whatever you want to call it, it's the second biggest one anyway. La mine. Right, so it's uh, it's very hazy, it's very warm, humid, muggy, the sun's hiding behind those clouds but there's not much of a breeze at all and it's really muggy and just like stuffy and humid so not the greatest but it's better than torrential rain I suppose so we're, we'll just he keep heading up past the crags and then we'll cut off and then it's over to the Hedgehope Hill. Looking over at Langley Crags there. I know a couple of the wild camping lads is out over there at night. I'd thought about going for a beer, but I want to go slightly higher. Mentioned last time, I'm trying to push myself out a little bit more and get further elevation in, uh, get a bit of fitness back in the legs. So it would have been nice to stop off for a beer, but we're going up, 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 up and away. Have a good night, lads. Kind of have a look on the top of this crag, see what the views are like, and then move on. Right, let's just be careful here. Too bad, it's all right. So hazy today though, it's so hazy. Hopefully it uh, clears up a bit later on. But that's how we're going, we're going up on there. So I think, we're going straight up there, which looks pretty steep. <laughs> I think that's a good, maybe just over 200 meter climb in a short period, of, in a short distance. So definitely going to be a leg tester. It's not getting any less steeper. It's looking pretty steep. 
have worked it out it's just under 300 meters i think from the bottom to the top i think it's 715 at the top and we'll be on around 450 when we start so not too far off 300 really which is a pretty climb for a short distance like that so i bet you'll be uh in needing a beer after we've done this but that's another thing today i've got beers last camp out i didn't um i chilled it was nice but today i've got beers because it's been a long week but anyway let's tackle this mother yeah it's not it doesn't it's not as bad as it looked but yeah still think it's going to be a burner nuclear bomb uh, god state this actually like it is Oh my god. Well, this is a slog, like, sloggy as anything here. <sighs> Wouldn't recommend this route, it's horrid. Just a long grass hill, uh, but quite steep. <sighs> Don't take this route, unless you want a boring, horrendously torturous horrible grassy hill don't take this route i don't i don't know what the route's like i don't know why i'm saying that but don't take this route <laughs> oh my god this is the absolute killer this um still going up this is i curse myself down the bottom i says ah, it's not as bad as it looks oh it's bad it's definitely bad it hurt less walking up scarfell pike the other day and i had more in my bag then as well put it that way um i think because you're doing like such a a decent amount of elevation in such a short space of time it's just naturally so steep and it's just this just boring crap rubbish so unless you get turned on by <sighs> horrendously grassy boring hills this probably isn't the route for you don't do it don't do it go back go back go back <laughs> developed Tourette's coming up this hill like Nice views though. <laughs> Don't take this route. <laughs> On which we go. <laughs> oh God. Nearly at the top, but we're getting some height like. I might not do it justice. Camera, but. I think we're just under 700 meters now, so. Oh, the end is nigh. The end is nigh for both the hill and my legs. Good news guys. Oh, here's the summit. That's a nice little seat there. Later on, I'll have some of that. But yeah, summer time. Chomp you on. Oh yeah. <sighs> the summit of Hedgehog Hill. easy that way easy um I, put, I like a challenge in walking you know it's just too much of a walk in the park lad so uh not summit of hedgehog hill we shall sit there later on for a couple of beers and thoroughly enjoy it so what we're going to do is we're going to look for a pitch and i've already spotted one around here so we're going to go there and it should be overlooking the Cheviot itself and the ranges out beyond that. Views! Hedge up hill views. 
awesome look at the mist just rolling over the hills right happy with that happy with that happy to be up here that's for sure so i'm just going to actually tell you what i'm going to put the i'm going to put the tent here this looks pretty good right no. right i'm going to put the tent here and we'll have some nice views out for the rest of the evening got a summit up there to go and sit out and have a beer later on and i think this is going to work out pretty nice if i'm perfectly honest like so hey uh, whoo bring you back soon boosh back in the room back with it there we go tents up i like a craft bar we i mean we are sort of loaded up we've got uh an ultra phase a rattling room because that was actually better than i thought it would be an arcade made and we've got a heathen which i'm going to start on so not too many not too many but uh, enough to do a job in terms of the setup we're back on the big agnes uh the rapide long wide so looking forward for another night on that same old setup really format underneath in case we have any disasters the bag i'm using is an alp kit one we've got the alp kit pipe dream 400 we've got the flex tail gear plush pillow which is absolutely top notch and we've got the draw on the jacket and some spare clothes so it's all we're needing it's all we're needing and we're living the happy life Heathen for a heathen. Cheers, everybody. That is nice after that hike up, man. That is very nice. Destroy the place, Andy. You're wrecking the place. It's all so quiet. It's really it's so still. Don't know why I'm whispering. There's nobody else here. Um, I've come on this side of the, the the pile of rocks because it was it was actually a bit a little bit drafty on the other side. I'll not say windy. I'll say drafty. Uh, but the sun looks like it's trying to get out up there. But yeah, it's so still and peaceful and quiet. It's not it's not a cloud inversion, but it's the. It's, it's what happens when you buy a cloud inversion off wish.com it you get that but it's nice it looks pretty cool it's like a it's a different type of vibe it's quite um it's quite like an eerie vibe well if i wasn't on my way before this i will be after it. it's a brew dog arcade made eight percent had it a billion times over it's nice well recommend if you like old school computer games this is the beer for you no idea why, but it just is because it's got kid made. The night is so still, like, it's really just leveled off and no wind, no breeze, no nothing. The tent is is sitting there just, it, the tent's bored. Look at the tent, the tent, it looks bored. I've never seen a Hilliberg look bored, but it does tonight because it ain't being tested whatsoever. But it is nice to be out in, in that type of vibe. So I ain't going to complain. Now I've had some food, I've had some Maltesers, I've, nice, it's, it's been nice and chilled, the night has been so still, you know, I, I can't really ask for much more than that other than maybe some views, but the, yeah, it's been a bit clagged and misty, but yeah, I'm not too bothered, I'm not too fussed about that, it's been a really relaxing night and, you know, I've had some nice uh, me time and got the candle on, um, had a couple of beers, had a bit of food and uh, yeah, a bit chocolate afterwards, so... <sighs> It's time to go to bed now though, so I shall say goodnight to you guys and have an amazing night. And um, yeah, see you in the morning. Good night, guys. <laughs>
morning. Oh, the night was really still last night, so slept pretty well. I was up awake for a little bit during the night because the stars were out, so that was nice. And uh, I'm just having a quick peek over there. That looks like there's a good sunrise, so I'm going to get out and have a look. I'm just at the uh, just at the summit, sitting out on this little bench here, just there uh, watching watching that sunrise. Look at that! It's absolutely beautiful. That looks amazing. A little bit of a cloud inversion over there as well, so it's pretty cool as well to see. Inside of the tent is down, so let's get the rest down. Let's get down off this here hill and let's uh, let's get back to Sunland and then let's come back later on. But I'm going to a different part of the Cheviots later tonight uh, and I do need to go and swap out my kit because I, I want to get the little green brothel out because it's been too long. It's been too long for that tent. But the sun is just coming up there, so absolutely awesome, eh? But anyway, I digress. Right, let's get the, uh, the other craft bar down and uh, let's do a little bit of time travel and bring it back soon. Different time travel today. We're in the ocean on a kayak. Hey, hey. Well, that soon uh, changed rapidly, so we're back on land. Now go back to the tent. Boom, back in the present. Tent's down and we're ready to go. Look at that, still creeping in over there, awesome. We've left nothing but flat grass. So what we're we waiting for? I don't know. Leave no trace, none trace left. Off we go. Well, that was another good camp in the bag. Yet again, another good one. Made some good solo memories. It was still, completely still all night. Never felt the night so still. The stars were out, but the moon was out as well, so visibility wasn't wasn't the best. But uh, I'll check the other GoPro when I got when I get back. See what kind of time lapse I got. Hopefully some good stuff. We'll see. Although I'm sure you'll have already seen it by now. Actually, come to think of it. But anyway, we're going back down here into Sheepsville. The steep bank, steep grassy bank of boar. Yep, there you go, you can have your hill back, it's all yours. Have it back. You don't have to keep going on, you can have it. Whatever. Right, we're at the bottom of that horrible hill. <sighs> Hedge Hope Horrible, Horrible Hope Hill, oh, I don't know, Horrible Edge Hill, I don't know, whatever, Hedge Horrible Hill, something, something with horrible in, uh, yeah, still a little bit of a trek, like, back up to the crag, and then down to the car, and then let's do it all over again tonight, eh? yeah, man. That's where we've just been on, come down from up there. I'm going that way. You can be a parrot on your shoulder for now.
cloud formations up there is looking pretty decent. Look, a sky full of cotton buds. So, uh, you can already feel the heat of the deer. It's very humid, very warm. It's only 7 a.m. I imagine it's going to be a bit of a scorcher today. Right, we're nearly back at the crag now, so I'm going to let you go. I'm going to leave you be here and uh, I'll just make my way back to the car. So, thank you again for tuning in and watching the video. Hey, always what always, always happens. Yeah, thank you for tuning in, watching the video, and so welcome to all new subscribers. That always is appreciated. Thank you very much. If you've enjoyed it, drop us a sub because I'm out all the time. And to be honest, having the company with you guys is is always welcome because it's about it can be very lonely trips these. I'm just following these two. Don't know why. We'll see where we'll end up. Um, so yes, thank you, and uh, <laughs> thank you, take care until the next one.